7 forecast on KWWL. Good evening. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. It's been a really hot and humid afternoon. Dew points have been in the upper 70s and air temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. Our heat index has approached 110 degrees at times. We'll still have this heat advisory in effect until 8 p.m. And in that time period, we'll likely see our heat index between 100 and 105. So continue to stay cool and drink plenty of water. Now that heat and humidity will lead to a chance for some scattered storms through tonight, some of which could be strong to severe. Uh, that will continue through early tomorrow morning, but tomorrow looking really nice. Once those storms clear out, we'll see mostly sunny skies and our temperatures will kind of drop a little bit, but our humidity will be much lower. And by Monday, we'll still see a chance for storms, but overall the high heat should stay away. Here's future track and we have been seeing a little more cloud cover for this afternoon and we'll see that through this evening and then that line of storms will approach from the northwest right around 11 p.m. Again, some of these could be on the stronger side. You see that line pushing through throughout the overnight hours. Here's 2 a.m. It's still pretty much right over El Cater to Waterloo and Tama and then by about 5 a.m. It continues to weaken and push out so we should be just about done with the rain by 6 and for the rest of the day, we'll see mostly sunny skies and it should be a pretty nice close to the weekend. When it comes to that severe chance, though, best chance will be early on right around midnight to that slight risk in the north because as that line pushes through, it continues to weaken. So most of the strong to severe storms should be in the north, but don't count them out as you make your way towards Cedar Rapids, Monticello and Dubuque through about 3 to 6 a.m. Now overall, our dew points will continue to fall after those storms move through and a cold front eventually. Uh, so we'll see them falling through tomorrow down to about 65 on Monday and then getting back up there by Tuesday into the upper 60s as a little more humidity will try to push in. When it comes to the future, uh, the forecast heat index, excuse me, will be right around 90 for the day tomorrow. So that's pretty manageable into the 80s Monday and Tuesday and still low 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. But our temperatures do start to warm back up as we make our way towards the end of the week. So for tonight, lows will remain in the low to mid 70s. It will be breezy and once that cold front and the storms push through, we'll see a southwest wind becoming northwesterly at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, high temperatures will still be in the 80s, but about the mid to upper 80s as we'll see mostly sunny skies and less humidity off of a continuing northwest wind. Here's your city by city forecast. We'll be down to about uh, 83 or 82 on Monday as we'll track just a chance for storms. And then by Tuesday, becoming a little more scattered, we'll still see our temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Here's your 10 day forecast. We start that warm up though, heading into Wednesday, looking dry there and still fairly humid. Thursday and Friday, a few isolated storms will be in the mid to upper 80s and then back to the low 90s by next weekend. Heat indices back to near 100 degrees as we'll keep the isolated to scattered storms through the weekend and into next week.